And so I want to read a little section. I, it was really hard to choose what to read because there's spoilers all through this book. <laughs> and I didn't want to read the first chapter because it's long and it, you would have been sitting here for ages going, Will Jeremy, fucking shut up. <laughs> so I thought I'd read something sort of short and sharp that doesn't give away too much so that when you read the book, hopefully you will read the book and it's for sale at the front, you know, <laughs> signing it for sure if you like. Um, yeah, so it won't give you too many spoilers, but I do need someone's copy so I can... Oh. Oh, you, so you haven't memorised it? <laughs> <laughs> I probably haven't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just tell us what pages. We'll read it. Yes, we can all read it. <laughs> well, one word each. <laughs> and will you give us a little, will you, will you ease us in with yeah. letting us know where you're Okay, at? so the couple that have had the baby, uh, Tim and Nicole, the baby's called Billy, and they, they have a home birth that's not giving away too much. And so their home birth midwife, is has, her name is Gail, and uh, she, she goes against their wishes at some point at the start of the book, and this is part of the... Uh, consequence of her going against their wishes. <clears throat> <coughs> the moment Tim swung, op swung open the front door, he could tell the energy in the house had shifted. As he passed by the nursery, he noticed that Billy wasn't in his cot. Then he heard voices coming from the lounge room. One of them sounded male. When he reached the lounge room, he saw Nicole sitting on the couch with Billy, flanked by Gail, and beside Gail was a priest. Nicole looked up and leapt off the couch, reversing him back into the kitchen. What the fuck is going on, he snapped. Did you know about this? Of course not. Gail brought him. Tim looked past her. His eyes narrowed on Gail. Calm down and listen for a moment, Nicole said, touching his face like he was a baby. I know we didn't invite him, but he's here now. We may as well speak to him. Tim was silent. Tim? His eyes were turned to hers, a gesture of the two of them returned to the lounge room, united, and sat on the couch together. Father Jim, this is Tim, Nicole said, like she was introducing two heads of state. The priest rose to shake Tim's hand. There was no doubting he had a way about him. His eyes seemed marinated in kindness. I'm guessing I'm not what you expected to come home to, Father Jim grinned, and Tim nodded his firm agreement. I'm sorry for invading your home. Believe me. My deepest wish is to help you. And how do you plan on doing that, said Tim. <laughs> Let me start by giving you some context for all of this, please. Since 1673, there have been 38 reports of the second coming of Christ that have been seriously investigated by the church. These are documented cases where appointed representatives were sent to either authenticate or reject the claim. 38? Tim repeated. How many turned out to be real? None. None of them proved to be Christ reborn, the father said. Tim felt his spirits rise, and they well and truly soared when the priest went on to describe these children who, who could allegedly move objects, summon spirits, and spontaneously conjure fire. Tim was now anticipating that this priest was about to absolve them of their problem. What about Billy, he said. Father Jim held his eye. I believe he is Christ reborn. Tim involuntarily shrank. Why does he have to be Christ, Tim said, taking a tone. I mean, couldn't he just be one of these children with an ability? <laughs> because he has a halo, the priest said. No other child has ever had one. And his birth was heralded with a star. Then there was the miracle with Claire, and I had my own experience with him today. It's only my opinion, of course. I'm not qualified to make a definitive call on it. The appropriate representatives of the church need to come and assess him. And where are these appropriate representatives from, Tim said. Right. Tim swallowed hard. No way. No way in the world, he said. There's no fucking way I'm letting a bunch of goons from the Vatican come and probe my child. <laughs> it's too late, Father Jim said quietly. They're already on their way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it sets it up beautifully.